Well, hello and welcome to Whitman Farms. I am Corey Whitman Stitt. I am a fourth generation farmer, rancher, and owner here in Whitman Farms. So pulses in particular, they are a unique crop. Growing up, I used to call them the superhero of crops on our farm. As a kid, I didn't understand what nitrogen fixing meant. Pulse crops are actually able to fix nitrogen in the soil, which means they're able to add nutrients back into the soil as they're growing, rather than using nutrients that are in the soil to grow the crop. So not only are they good for the soil, they're good for the environment. We're reducing our dependence on synthetic fertilizer, which again is reducing our carbon footprint, which is something that we always strive to do here on the farm. One of the other advantages to growing pulse crops is they are a highly drought tolerant crop. We are 100% dry land farm, which means we have no irrigation. We are relying only on what falls from the sky to grow a crop. It's not always great when you have a drought year, but traditionally it is very good growing conditions for your pulse crops. We have a wet spring, enough time for them to really get going and get some good growth. As they mature, they'll start to dry down, and when you harvest them, they actually get quite condensed and close to the ground. So these are chickpeas, and they are dried down and ready for harvest. And here I have some lentils, and they are dried down and also ready for harvest. Our harvest typically lasts between seven and 10 weeks, depending on how big the harvest is, how many rain events we have during harvest, how many combine breakdowns we have. So the process once harvest rolls around is you're going to drive that combine into the field. You're gonna start cutting it. Once you fill up as much as you can in your combine, you'll dump that either into a grain wagon to carry it to a truck or directly onto a truck. And that will then go to a storage facility. Maybe have some home storage, which will then go to a processor from your home storage or directly to the processing plant. This common is what we use through harvest to harvest um, all the crops that we grow. So this is the main body of the combine and then we have another attachment, a very large, long 40 foot attachment that goes on the front. The crop then feeds through this feeder housing and it goes through and starts the threshing process. So it's basically a giant barrel the crop goes into and it's the equivalent of putting grain in your hand and crushing it with your fist to kind of thresh the grain out to separate it from the chaff. And then it goes through a cleaning process with sieves that are basically shakers going back and forth and wind coming from below. Um, the wind blows out the chaff, the heavier grain falls through the sieves and then gets carried up into a clean grain bulk tank. And then that's what gets taken to market. So these, this is our primary storage facility. We primarily store our wheat and cereal grains here, but sometimes if we have a big production year, we can store some pulses like dry green peas. So I really value pulses, not only in the role that they play environmentally and economically on the farm, but nutritionally in our family. We grew up growing pulses, seeing them in the field, harvesting them, and then mom would make these incredible meals, whether it was um, lentil chili or lentil salad or amazing hummus recipes, you name it, we had it on our table. There you go. When my son was born, you know, I was doing all the things that moms do and Googling all the, what are the, what should I feed my son? What are the best things? What are, what's going to make his brain healthy? And you name it, pretty much every Google search I did, lentils and chickpeas were top of the list. So that's what I put in his <laughs> diet from six yeah. months on. Yeah. Are you going to be a farmer someday? Okay, now it's time to get these pulses off to the processing plant. Welcome to the Genesee processing plant. Here in Genesee, we will process lentils, green peas, and kabuli chickpeas, both large and small. Once we've received it into the plant, we will start by running it through an aspiration system, the screen machines, gravity tables, distoners before it goes into either precision graders for certain commodities or the color sorter before it goes through metal detectors into our finished product. Well, thank you for visiting with us on the farm today. We hope that you have the chance to come and visit us in person someday. And Silas and I say thank you and go eat more pulses. <laughs>